Hey guys, so in news for this week, it's actually been pretty crazy because I'm so used to living alone, but then I've had Dennis here for the past week now. So, you know, that's like so so. I, I want to say, besides having the interest of going to the lives together and loving visual, okay, I don't think we have too many other interests. Um, interests per se don't really make the friendship or living with somebody I want to say better all the time because I, I mean you can have the same interest but sometimes there's still like some other things but I guess maybe the more interest you have with each other it makes it a lot better for you to do certain things but um also he came from America but at the same time I told him like beforehand like pretty much the weekends are going to be available to like do stuff with you like Saturdays and Sundays um, the first Saturday he got here, we hung out with Charlotte and the people from my university days before, like, majority of them went their separate ways, you know. And then, like, that Sunday we went to see Diada Live, and then that was pretty much the week where I can't really do much because I, I still have work, you know. And besides that, I'm still editing videos on the side, so there's a lot that I'm doing, you know, just to make sure that every, you know, everybody's getting a piece of me, I guess, <laughs> if you want to put it like that, you know. So, I mean, he knew that from when he got here, but I still think he expected me to do more during the week, but it's like, dude, I, there's not too much to really do, you know, like, what? go to the mall or whatever but like you could pretty much do that like while I'm at work too so it's like there's nothing too much to do pretty much the whole week we've just been going out and playing Pokemon and stuff like that so that's the one thing I do try to do pretty frequently is go out and do some gyms do a raid for the day then I come home I do my Korean study because of, that's the new thing that makes me happy is this year is like I'm actually moving towards a new language and so forth so I try to do that daily you know but since he's been here I've been doing it a lot less than I used to which was like the following week <laughs> um, I mean well the week before he got here um, and then these days like off and on I do it but just not as much as I used to but we've been going out a little bit to play Pokemon. We go out to catch like good Pokemon whenever we can um, or Pokemon that we don't have and so forth. And then we've been doing raid battles and I think he's been going to the malls and stuff while I'm at work to try to, I don't know. I don't know what he's been doing. Probably like arcades or something because majority of malls and stuff like that do have arcades and so forth. Besides just actual like stores you can go to to buy clothes and so forth. And then they have crepes and so forth. So I'm guessing that's pretty much what he's been doing while I've been gone this whole week. But I mean, <laughs> I, I don't really know too much, you know, of what he's been doing. And then sometimes he's just here. So I'm guessing maybe not too much too. So I don't, I don't know. But um, that's pretty much what we've been doing weekly. Um, it, it, like I said, it's still different for me because I don't know. Like, I have this thing of waking up in the morning and I listen to music. I'm always listening to music though, honestly, but um, I'm listening to music and then I I tend to go crazy a lot. I like enjoying my life. So I'm listening to music and then I'm like dancing around and stuff and then these days I'm usually listening to K-pop now. Um, usually EXO, there's like this playlist that I listen to, so it's usually EXO and Girls' Generation, I listen to them too. There's this playlist on that, but those are the only two I've been cycling through while I study my Korean, but like... When I listen to them, I don't know, I just go crazy and I dance around and I don't know, I just, I make myself laugh and I, I'm enjoying myself and having fun and I'm used to that and that's the only thing that, I don't know, that's like the best thing about being alone is like, you don't have to feel self-conscious about things that you do, but um, when other people are around you, you have to like feel like maybe you shouldn't because then like, like for me, like if I play music every morning, it's just like, but maybe I shouldn't because... Dennis is here and I don't want to wake him up, you know, and then when he's going to sleep, it's like, maybe I should turn the music down, but it's just a lot of stuff I didn't really have to worry about when he wasn't here, you know, and even if he says, no, no, you don't have to do that, or no, it doesn't really bother me or something, it's still that thing for me, like, but I should put it down, you know, and then, like, sometimes I wake up, and then I notice that he's here, and then I'm like, 
maybe I shouldn't put on the music and dance around. Like, it's just those little things that having a roommate just like, you n you never know until you have somebody. There's that, and then there's just obviously, you know, personalities. Because it, personalities can be different or the same, you know. And that's the whole thing about living with somebody is you never really know if your personalities are going to match or not. Because you can be somebody's friend, but like if the personalities don't really match too well, then, you know, it it can end a friendship pretty much you know and you can have the same interest but personalities be different and that can still and you know you think that you're right or compatible just like i mean just like a regular relationship if you was dating like a guy or a girl but you never really know there's some things you just don't know until you move in with each other you know and i'm hoping it doesn't get bad or whatever you know but i do feel like we have uh, different personalities like he's a lot more just, he thinks less than I do I am a critical thinker I'm always thinking about different things but he's more like super super go with the flow like I like to go with the flow too but he's like 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 how would you like oblivious to things I want to say like so going with the flow with everything that he's just oblivious to what's going around him and I'm the total opposite where I'm just thinking about everything like at once I'm thinking about what's going on here but I'm also thinking about you know when should I stay Korean but I'm also thinking about if I will go to Korea and then I'm thinking about but if I'm staying in Japan or where will I live in Japan next and like I think about so many things at once and if you if you ever hang out with me in the future, just in case you guys do, you know, um, I'm constantly thinking about different things. So sometimes there might be like a maybe like an, uh, a reaction on my face that you're just like, where did that come from? But it's probably because I'm thinking about something. So just so you don't think like, oh, is he offended that I did something or something? No, it's probably not you. It's probably me because I'm always thinking about stuff. And my biggest thing is treating people how I want to be treated. So majority of the time. I'm more open and tell people stuff than to not. But anyway, that's just a little bit about me, I guess. You'll learn more. I'll probably have more stuff on that later on. But pretty much besides that, this weekend, we were going to go stay in an Airbnb for Saturday and Sunday because we were supposed to go to two different lives. On the 27th of January, we saw Dim Lim Live. They were amazing. Um, I was skeptical about it. I was like, Ugh, I'm going to... I like the few of their songs, but I'm like, it's going to be good live. I'm hoping it's amazing, you know, because I'm looking forward to it, you know, and it was. I loved it. Um, and then um, there was Nocturnal Bloodlust. I mean, I love Hiro. And then, actually, Kasuki, I, I grew more in love with him as I went to the live. But Hiro, I've always loved Hiro. Like, that's my favorite vocalist in the scene right now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but anyway we're supposed to see them so the plan was before Dennis got here is that we we're supposed to go stay in the Airbnb so it was already pre-planned and we already bought the Airbnb so you will see a video of the apartment we stayed in which is pretty cool but um off topic or well it's still on topic but what what's that like side topic Anyway, so uh, pretty much um, we, we um, got there and it was actually pretty different because first we couldn't find it. Oh my God, we couldn't find it for like two hours. My God, there was three different addresses. There was one on the main site. There was one that the lady had just written and then there was a link to an address that she sent. The link to the address obviously is the one that we used because we thought it would take us there, but that was not where she stayed. Um, so that did not work. And then we were l looking around. Now, it said that on the main site that there was supposed to be like five stories, like building in the, what, the map link that she showed us or gave us took us to a two story, like shady building. I was like, she can't live here. <laughs> like, is this what we're supposed to live in? Like, it was, it was pretty beat up. Like, I was like, like I was like, I, mean, I don't know. I, it just surprised me because I, I was like, that can't be an Airbnb. Like, really? 
is that an Airbnb? But then he was like, but it's supposed to have a five, like from the main site. And I was like, well, that'd be five stories. And he was like, let's go up here and stuff. So we're walking around, but I'm like, there's no point in walking around because we can clearly see over the head of all these buildings that there's no five story building around here. So then we were walking around, we didn't find it. And then finally went back to the main site. You know, but since there's three addresses, we don't know which one to go to, and we're running out of time because the live is gonna start, and I need to eat because I gotta eat before the live. But I gotta eat in general, like man, I get so un unhappy when I don't eat. Sadly, like, uh, like I have to eat, like, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I have to eat. So <laughs> I was like, we gotta find this place, and I don't know. I don't really want to be late to the live, but I gotta eat. Like, that's the one thing I can't pass up is eating. Cause I'll probably most likely be very, very unhappy at the live because I just won't have the energy to do anything. So I'm like, yeah, we gotta eat. I finally like, um, jot down what's on the main site and then we go to it and it's actually the place, yes. We get the keys and go upstairs and I'm excited and I, I was about to start filming. No, I did start filming. And then he's opening the door and I'm like, yes, yeah, so we're about to do this. We're about to go into this Airbnb and then flush. And I was like, flush? I was like, what? I was like, <laughs> and then he looks at me like, what? And I'm like, that wasn't me. <laughs> like, I'm outside. And then like he slowly like closes the door. I'm like, what? Is somebody still in the room? Like that's weird. Like, cause the, the key was there. Like the key was in the mailbox where it was supposed to be. But somebody's in the room. Like that's weird. Like, are we supposed to be sleeping with somebody? Because it was weird. What happened was we were supposed to have a double room. And we booked this from like two weeks ago, two weeks in advance. I'm guessing someone that also booked the room for the the day before, like after that. So the lady messaged him and she said like, um, well, is there by any chance that you can actually sleep in my room, but it's a single bed, but it's bigger than I guess the double beds. But, you know, I was just like bigger, but I'm like, I don't think it's gonna fit both of us, you know? And I'm just like, it's just so weird that she would just bring it up on us like the day before, I think it was. Like, can you actually sleep in my room instead of that, the extra room or the guest room where people sleep in? So I was confused because I'm like, so does she stay there while other people stay there? Like, I've never been to an Airbnb where I guess you live with a person or maybe they're rent renting out their room or the next door room, but I don't know. I, f I think that feels so awkward to sleep in the next room with, somebody that's renting out like the room next to you you know maybe if it's for a long period of time maybe because it'd be like having a housemate or a roommate um well more housemate because they're not they're not in your same room but like i don't know to live with different people every night or something like that that would feel so weird i mean it's a good way to make a lot of money i don't i just i don't know like or maybe she goes on trips when she and then on those times because she actually did go to a skiing trip which is why we couldn't get in contact with her to even find the building to begin with because she had no cell service but like I wondered if maybe it's only for when she goes on trips or something so, so I was like oh that's different but the girls just still being there I was just like what is going on why are they still here like why would you go downstairs and then put the key in the mailbox go back upstairs and then still stay there for another two hours we arrived there at like four something and the lady said that they would leave at about two so they went back upstairs and stayed for two more hours and then the the girl because dennis closed the door and then he rang the doorbell <laughs> you know so he rang the doorbell and nobody came to it but we heard them flush the toilet so the toilet was right there so why didn't you come to the door I don't know but then um, after that then he rang it again and then I guess maybe the first girl was just too like scared so maybe she just didn't want to open it but then the second girl came and she opened it and then she's like well we had like a problem 
so we stayed longer so Dennis was like are you guys gonna leave he's like well I just want to drop my stuff off I'm like oh hell no <laughs> I was like wait hold up like like I, I don't know them like I can't leave my stuff here and then they still be here like that's awkward they could just take anything they want and leave I was like I can't do that but like he was just so like whatever about it. I was like oh no 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 I was like um they're either leaving or I'm taking I keep keeping my stuff with me but I'm not gonna leave it here while they're gone you know and but like uh they finally left like a few minutes later then we went inside I did the tour video so you'll see that this week and then um we got ready we went to our live and we had fun at Dim Lim. it was amazing you know I, obviously I, I stick out at all lives um, I went to the Diada live the week before and the lady was just so surprised she's just like I've never seen a black guy at maybe at Diada I'm sure she probably goes to all their uh, well I'm sure she probably works for them like staff wise but she's like I've never seen a black guy and then I said something Japanese and she's like oh no <laughs> cause I know she was just like flustered like oh my god he understood me it's like yeah <laughs> but um you know I, I know I always stick out and I went to Dim Lim Live, and everybody kept staring at me, um, obviously. Um, the vocalist, the, the guitarist, the bassist looked at me a lot too, but he wasn't their bassist. And the drummer, he even winked at me, the drummer <laughs> winked at me. <laughs> ah, it was amazing. He, he was just like drumming and then he saw me and then he winked and I was just, I laughed so hard. I was like, ah, he winked at me. <laughs> um, and then the vocalist, he kept looking over, but I mean, he didn't lose, he didn't, they don't lose face or like change, but like every life I've been to, like, I always think like, maybe they're thinking like, wow, I actually got like a black guy to come like, yes, all right, <laughs> you know, but like, that's how it is. Like every live I go to, everybody just stares at me a lot like, oh my God, like, shut up. No, nah, <laughs> no. Nah. So maybe, maybe they just don't understand what's going on so for the whole set. Like they just keep looking over just to make sure. Like nah, nah. What? Like he's still there? Like, like I was gonna disappear? I guess. But it, it's funny. I still, I, I enjoy it. Still, it's like whatever. You know, I was just so I don't know. I really liked that the the drummer winked at me. Like I thought that was the funniest thing ever. He was probably so excited to see me, even though he's not in their band. But yeah. And then I got some checkies of the band. You'll see those later. Um, and then pretty lucky, yeah, yeah, I got three different checkies, and it was all three of the band members that are currently in there since two of them left. So that was pretty cool. And then. On Sunday, I went to go see Nocturnal Bloodlust. Yo, I've been waiting to see them for like forever. Um, yes, like Hito. Ugh, ugh. He has a nice body. He works out a lot. Um, I've always wanted to have a nice body since I was younger. I do work out a lot, but I haven't been really doing the gym since I've been here. Um, I done some stuff back home. Maybe in the future, we'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll show my body. But <laughs> besides the point, <laughs> off topic. But um, yeah, so like, I do, I do do stuff around here. I usually do my um, daily exercise, but I kind of stopped that since Dennis has been here because I don't know. I just feel different doing it by myself, and then somebody's here because I'm like, ah, oh, but what if it smells in the room? Like I open the door sometimes, but like I don't know. I'm. I'm I'm not embarrassed to do it, but I'm self-conscious that I'm affecting somebody else that's I invited here, so that just weighs on me. Um, but I I haven't been doing that for like what like oh uh, two weeks now. So, yeah, because I think I kind of stopped like the week before. Then I went to go pick him up, and then well, not two weeks exactly, because it's only been like. A week and a half since he's been here but you know about that time but still for me i do it like every other day and usually i go walking but it's been super super freezing in japan recently that by the time i get out of work like i can't because it's already getting dark then it gets super cold outside so i haven't been able to do my daily three hour walks which sucks but when it gets warmer or when it yeah when it gets warmer obviously because or less cold when it gets less cold when it gets warmer yeah but anyway, I went to go see them. Hiro was amazing. Amazing live. He's so stupid. 
<laughs> he kept he kept like flexing his stuff and like just showed off his muscles. I was like, okay, okay, we know you go to the gym. I mean, you posted on Twitter anyway, <laughs> but yeah, he's he's amazing. Um, very good looking guy, uh, nice body and so forth. Um, and then there's Caskey, which like I just love how he moves around. Um, he's just very crazy and just like fluid with his body and he just does like ridiculous he's just enjoying himself and that reminds me of me waking up because when I wake up and stuff or when I'm just by myself just listening to music I'm always just like dancing around and doing like I don't know just like not caring about anything like I do that I don't know maybe it makes me happy I don't know but I just go crazy because I'm I'm I don't know I'm enjoying myself and he he does that at the lives that he goes to and at that life he did too like at one time he was like climbing up the side of this what of the, what would that be like the banister or like what or the side of the stage or whatever and he was on the side and then he was like hanging down and stuff and it was just amazing and then he like plays guitar and then he's like putting his head back and stuff and he plays all those sick um solos and stuff so i was just like wow he does all that and he's like just good at it because he doesn't even have to look he's just on it you know but just like both of them I don't know love them always loved Hito obviously because like I said he was one of my favorite vocalists in the scene right now but then just going to see Kasuki and just how he just just such a lovely person man Ugh. it was so amazing it was actually the first live I went to where a majority of the people were pretty much foreign I don't know if they lived here in Japan or if they came from abroad but majority of the people that were there were foreign so all the Japanese girls were in the back so that's pretty different um, not too I want to say majority I want to were like foreign yeah like 60 70 percent were foreign 30 ish were Japanese um, but yeah like they loved it you know so I'm like, that's pretty cool because Nocturnal Bloodlust is, you know, they're getting people from abroad too to come to Japan to see them. So that's amazing. If I was in a band or like a boy group or anything like that, you know, or solo singer or whatever, like I would love for people to love me so much to come see me wherever I am, you know. Even if I go there to see them, but even if I come back to my home country or whatever, if I go to a different country that we both are not from and they want to see me there, like, I'd, I'd, I'd be so grateful for that, you know. So that was actually pretty wonderful for to see, you know, at least for me. So I was like, yeah, you know. And, and that's pretty much how I ended the weekend. But the last thing that happened was Hito was looking at me a lot too. <laughs> and I was like, yes. I was like... <laughs> Senpai has noticed me. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the one thing that he did do was like he was he was about to throw a water bottle <laughs> and he licked at me. <laughs> and I was like, is he gonna throw the water bottle at me? <laughs> and like I really wanted to catch it, but then I felt so bad because I'm like, but I don't wanna s I don't wanna cause like the the people around me were Japanese girls beside Dennis that was next to me. So I felt bad because I'm like, he's looking at me and I know he's about to throw it at me. But I'm like, I would feel so bad if I just snatched it from like one of the Japanese girls. But like, they didn't even catch it. And I was like, oh no. I was like, oh, I missed my chance. They didn't catch it. And it went right past and then it, it hit me in the head. I was like, no! I was like, oh, that's what I get for trying to be nice. And then, like, it uh, went on the floor over there somewhere. And I was just like, <sighs> I was like, if I just tried to, like, I was trying to be nice and give it to them, even though I know he was trying to throw it at me. But I was just like, and it, it still hit, like, it, like, he was on point like he threw it in like it was really for me like it came right but I really thought one of the girls would get it but like they didn't like they were more ducky and like maybe they let it hit the ground first and then they pick it up I don't know but I didn't really know what to do but I should have just tried to get it but instead like I missed it just because I was trying to be nice and I was just like oh come on <laughs> like, oh i was like i could have had that bottle i totally could have had that bottle anyway besides that i really 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 enjoyed both lives this weekend so i was excited about that 
and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Oh wow, you're still here. Oh wait, don't forget to check the description box below. I put a lot of different things in there, like my lovely friends, my social medias, just in case you want to catch up with me on Twitter or Instagram and so forth like that. So make sure to please check that out, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.